My name's Andy from Urban Herbs and in this video I'm going to talk to you about one of the varieties that we grow here at Urban Herbs that is quite simply one of my favourite varieties of all time. If I was naming my top five herbs, my Herbie Hall of Fame, imagine if that was a thing, this variety would definitely be in my all-time Hall of Fame herbs. Today I'm going to be talking to you about lime mint. Now there are many different varieties of mint that we grow here at Urban Herbs, each with slightly different properties. For example, basil mint that combines the delicious flavour of mint and basil. It's basil that you can grow in decent quantities. Strawberry mint, I mean, wow, strawberry mint is amazing. I had it in pims at my wedding. But the other variety that I actually added to the pims at that wedding was this one here, the lime mint. And I often say that lime mint is the single strongest flavour that we grow here at Urban Herbs. Even if you add lime mint to a very, very strong drink, you will still taste the delicious lime flavour within these leaves. As I'm talking to you right now, as I'm filming this video, I can smell the delicious aroma of lime combined with mint. And it really is very, very special. I can't stop smiling because the aroma is quite sharp. It is really powerful. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about why I think you should grow lime mint, but also how you can. Lime mint is one of those varieties that I often say is the strongest variety that we grow here. The flavor really is strong. When you rub the leaf, especially earlier on in the year when the aroma and the flavor is stronger, you really do get that unmistakable aroma of lime. And when combined with the mint, it's a beautiful flavor. Let's be honest, we're all thinking of drinks right now, be it alcoholic or otherwise. So many of our customers have made amazing drinks using lime mint. And actually a few years ago, at my wedding, we made pims using the lime mint and the strawberry mint combined together. Just imagine how good that was. The pims certainly disappeared very, very quickly. For me though, I love adding lime mint to a cold bottle of water on a hot day. But I also enjoy making a herbal tea with this variety. Back in those dark days of lockdown, I started to experiment with reducing my caffeine and I started to search for alternatives to tea or coffee. And one of the alternatives that I found was herbal tea. And lime mint really does produce a really sharp flavored herbal tea. The flavor is so sharp, it really does engage the senses. And it does what the very best herbs do. It takes you away from whatever's going on in your day. It refocuses you. And for me, that lime mint tea really wakes me up in the morning. It really is a very, very sharp flavor. I think it's worth growing lime mint for its aroma alone. Forget about the flavor, which is delicious, but the aroma is just so special. You're gonna notice a lot as I'm filming this video that I can't stop running my hands through the foliage. It smells amazing. And especially once you've disturbed the foliage like that, you will just keep smelling it. I wish that you guys could smell this through the screen right now. As I said, this does what the very best herbs do. It takes you away from whatever's going on in your day. I was once told that we as human beings spend a lot of our time living in the front cortex of our brain that deals with logic and reason. And our sense of smell, it takes us somewhere else. It engages a little bit of nostalgia and it removes us from the part of our brain that deals with the sensible adult life. Does that make any sense to you? I really hope so, because that's what these herbs do for me. I'm almost a bit emotional talking about it because it's so important to me. I love the aroma of these herbs in general and lime mint in particular. The other reason why you really should grow lime mint is that it's really attractive. I often use the description architectural to describe these herbs and lime mint really is architectural. I think that the leaves are really pretty. I'll just hold this up to the camera as I'm talking right now. Just, just have a look at that. The stems get quite tall, so it provides structure and form within your herb garden. But the leaves have got a beautiful dark colouring to them with veins on the leaf that really are quite distinctive from other varieties of mint, especially when this plant gets really big. I once grew a lime mint in a 100 litre pot, which is quite big. And the resulting plant was enormous. Imagine the aroma that came from that. I really hope that I've done a good job selling lime mint to you because 
it's one of my favorites. I feel like I'm introducing you to one of my best friends or to a holiday destination that I've loved and I think you'll love too. I hope that wherever you're watching this video in the world, you're Googling where you can find lime mint because, wow, it's really special. How can you grow lime mint? Well, I've got some really good news for you. Lime mint is really, really easy to grow. I mean, seriously, like many varieties of mint, this is a variety that doesn't need much encouragement to grow. It's a little bit lacking in decorum. You know, you'll put it in a pot or in a raised bed and it will absolutely go for it. It's got an expansionist policy as this mint plant. It will spread in all directions and you will very soon have enough lime mint to make as much herbal tea and as many pims and mojitos as you could possibly want. For this reason, if you don't have a huge garden and you perhaps want to grow some other herbs in that bed, I would put lime mint in a pot. Put lime mint in a decent sized pot. Use a good quality multi-purpose compost and maybe add a little bit more organic material to the potting mix as well, just to help it hold in the moisture a little bit. Like many varieties of mint, lime mint is gonna be quite thirsty, whereas a lot of herbs like rosemary, thyme and sage are gonna want free draining conditions. Lime mint is going to want to drink a little bit more and those moisture retentive conditions will really, really set lime mint up for success. It will grow in full sun or partial shade. And actually we've had some really good results with lime mint growing in a more shaded position just outside our kitchen door. As lime mint grows, you're gonna to wanna to cut it back on a regular basis. I hope you're gonna be doing that anyway because it's really, really tasty. And I hope that you're gonna be using lots of lime mint flavor. But actually you cutting it back will encourage further growth. It will prevent the plant from getting too spindly. Pruning has lots of advantages. And when you prune back your lime mint, you're gonna be allowing more light into the center of the plant. You're gonna be allowing greater airflow around your plant. And ultimately you're gonna have a much healthier plant. If you don't prune, the plant's gonna become quite spindly quite quickly. Look how I've just changed that. Doesn't that look a lot more spindly than a beautiful bushy plant? I understand why people are nervous to prune the herbs are your babies and you've nurtured them and you're so proud of how they've grown. It's nothing to be sneered at. I felt like that when I first started growing, but you really do need to prune back your herbs to encourage that fresh, healthy growth. If you live in a colder climate, lime mint will lose its foliage later on in the year. And when it does so, you can cut it back, tidy it up. You can even try drying the leaves. It's really fun to do that. But the really good news is, is that lime mint will return the following spring. If you've cut it back, you'll see little shoots coming from the base of the plant and lime mint will grow renewed with enthusiasm for the year to come. And early on in the year is my favorite time to harvest lime mint. When the plant's growing more slowly, the flavor is so much stronger, that slow growth, and it will make a really, really invigorating cup of herbal tea early in the season. What do you think, guys? Have I done justice to talking about one of my favorite varieties? I really hope so. I haven't posted a video about lime mint for absolutely ages. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this very brief introduction to growing lime mint. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, please just hit the like button, leave me a comment. It feels cheeky asking for this, but these interactions, they really do help our channel grow. And we're so passionate, I hope you can tell that, about us sharing the knowledge about growing these beautiful foodie herb plants. Until next time, guys, my name's Andy from Urban Herbs. See you later.